Recently, I made a video about what I thought was like the worst stuff I saw at SHOT Show. Now, a lot of people sent me messages saying, well, what about the full conceal? Did you think the full conceal Glock was a really bad idea? How did that not make your worst list? Uh, well, for those of you that don't know what the full conceal is, it's basically a little system where you cut the grip off of a Glock and then you stick a magazine in this little contraption on the front. And then when you need your gun, you pull the magazine out, stick it in and you use the magazine as the grip. Now there is a little shorty magazine you can put in here so that you can have it ready to go right away if you need it, but I'm not sure how well this gun would actually handle with no grip if you actually had to fire it. So I'm not really sure that's a well thought out idea, but it's there. Uh, they also have one that has a an extension that pulls off. I think that's their Model 2 that has an extension that pulls off, goes up in the gun and actually makes a full grip, but it's kind of an oddly shaped big full grip and has like a spring loaded trigger, etc. Uh, you'll have to look them up to really know what they are because I'm not really going to be good at explaining them right here because for one, I feel like crap today. I don't know if I've got the flu or if it's just because that I, uh, during a Super Bowl party yesterday, ate an entire plate of nachos and then washed that down with a Sunday, a hot fudge Sunday that was like literally this big and then then when I got home, topped it off by eating two more Klondike bars and an entire bag of pork rinds. So I'm either suffering the effects from that or I'm getting sick. So not going to be the greatest video today. But like I say, people ask me, how did that not make my worst of SHOT Show list? I know a lot of people are ragging on it. A lot of people think it's really stupid. Uh, well, I wanted to join in today and say the reason it didn't make my top uh, worst things list is because I I actually liked it. I, I like it a lot. I think it's got a lot of potential. Now, I might not think it's the greatest self-defense thing in the world or the most uh, uh, appropriate thing for people who think they're going to need to be uh, ready on a half a second's notice, but I think in itself, it has a lot of merit and a lot of potential. Now, I think it's great because, you know, not everyone subscribes to that whole mentality of I'm going to have to quick draw, you know, because, you know, if you actually add up the number of people that uh, injure themselves practicing, I actually read a study about this once where they brought CDC, uh, CDC statistics of people who injure themselves while at a range or in a class, etc., and compared that to the number of times where police reports said that people had to draw and fire instantly, and it was phenomenally more of people actually injuring themselves preparing for the fast draw situation than people actually saving themselves in a fast draw situation, which actually makes sense because most self-defense situations aren't fast draw. Uh, that's kind of a, uh, you know, the private range commando fantasy where they like to do their little contrived and uh, choreographed, like, look at me, you do this move, then this move, and then <laughs> stuff, you know. And, you know, that's fun. That's great stuff for them. And it does help uh, hone your instincts for when you do need to act quickly. But most self-defense situations just aren't going to fall into that category. So the whole idea that this gun would be there and you would have to actually do a little work to it to get it ready, because like I say, it's not going to be ready to go on an instant's notice, because you're going to have to pull it, pull the magazine out, insert the magazine, rack the slide, and then be ready to go. But I think that would be okay for most people. Most people are going to say, that's okay for me. Uh, a lot of people don't even like to carry chambered. Now, I don't ever suggest to people to carry unchambered unless you make the calculated guess that you are more comfortable with knowing that you're going to have to rack your firearm if you ever need to use it than you are carrying it live at any time. And I'm perfectly okay with you making that decision as long as you make an educated decision. The only time I have a problem with that is when people say it's just as fast to carry unchambered as it is to carry chambered. It isn't just as fast. So you're not making an educated decision if you actually believe that. You're making a decision based on ignorance. But like I say, if you decide to carry unchambered because you think it's safer, that's great. And I think this gun would be great for people like that. People that either can't be seen with a gun or don't carry one chambered anyway. Because when you put it in the configuration it's in, it's not much bigger than like an iPhone 6 or 7 Plus with one of those giant OtterBox cases on it. Or a Galaxy Note with one of those giant OtterBox cases on it, except it doesn't explode like a Galaxy Note. Uh, so it's not really that big. I mean, I've seen these cell phone cases from OtterBox and I look at them and I'm like, does that person have a Sony Walkman? What are they carrying around? And I know most of you out there aren't going to know what a Sony Walkman is, but as old guys, we know what Sony Walkmans are. So it's not going to be that big. It's not going to be that hard to conceal. And you could put it in like a leather case, kind of like my Sneaky Pete holster that, you know, works for little tiny guns, but doesn't work for big guns because it's too big. Uh, this would actually be able to go in one and look just like a big cell phone case. So for people who want to be really uh, inconspicuous with their gun, they could carry that that way. And they would have it if they needed a gun. Because I think most people are not worried about fast draw, like I said. They're worried about being in a situation like you're in a mall in a store and maybe a terrorist shooting attack. 
happens and you're trapped and you've got nothing you can know where you can go and nothing you can do because you're not armed well if you had that you just pull it out pull out the magazine slap it in now you're armed and you're ready to go you're ready to deal with that situation uh, or like you're like those people that were trapped in the bathroom at that nightclub in Miami during that terrorist attack. They were actually tweeting, we're trapped in the bathroom, there's nothing we can do, there's a crazy person with a gun advancing towards us. You know, he's making his way towards this end of the building. I don't want to be in that situation. And anyone in that situation, their gun wouldn't have had to have been ready to go on a second's notice. They would just have to have the means on them to actually use that gun when they had to use it. So I would think that would be great for people like that. So I think it has a lot of uses. Now, I would like to see it maybe made to where uh, instead of just pulling the magazine out and snapping it in, you actually use uh, where you have to use the magazine as the grip, that maybe they can design the attachment at the top where there's actually a sleeve on the magazine so that when you pull the magazine out, snap it in, it's actually a full grip again. I would like that better. And on the one maybe that they do where the... Uh, the spring trigger and stuff. I'm not so crazy about that one, uh, but I would like to see someday where they make it to where the grip actually just flips up and locks instead of actually has to come out so that you don't have to risk dropping it. Maybe, uh, maybe when you flip it up, the magazine comes out just a little bit, but it still stays locked in place where you have to actually physically pull it out like you would if it was in a rail system. And then when you go to use your gun, you just have to pull it out, flip the grip back down, slap the magazine home. I would love to see it evolve to something like that. I think that would be awesome, especially since it eliminates the grip. And the grip is the hard part to conceal. So for people who worry about concealment, that would be great for them. And like I said, for people that don't want to carry chambered anyway, or are okay with carrying their gun in chambered, this would be a great thing for them. So like I said, I'm all for it. I think it has great potential. Uh, like I said, I don't know about the Model 2 with the spring trigger and stuff. I'd have to pay more attention to that one. I'm not really worried about getting extra capacity. I just like the idea of having that grip eliminated and having a gun there that you can put together when you need it and it being really easy to carry, no one knowing you got it. I mean, I would probably carry it if I had to go somewhere where I knew like I was dressed in a suit. And I couldn't actually carry in a way I normally carried. I don't like shoulder holsters because they flag people. So, you know, a, a nice leather pouch with a gun that's folded up like that on my hip that I know at any given moment, I don't just have a tiny little five shot or six shot 380 on me or a 32. I've actually got a Glock 19 right there with just a click, click, you know. So to me, I loved it. I actually thought it was great. I look at things. I try not to look at just what they are right now. I try to look at what they might be eventually. And I think this grip, this or this uh, item, this uh, removable grip or removable magazine, uh, whatever you want to call it thing, the full conceal, I think it has great potential. Now, I do wish that maybe they would do their own work on the Glock grips, like you send it to them and they cut it down for you and they make the grip extension that fits it perfectly because I don't like that idea of having to cut my own Glock and put it on there. But like I say, they're just starting out. Maybe they'll refine the way they do things. They do offer a grip frame that's just from them. Maybe they'll start incorporating that Model 1 design style into like the Model 2 where you can actually just buy the Glock grip because you can build a Glock with all the parts easily if you just have that grip that has that special detachable, you know, magazine. And like I said, I would like to see a little sleeve on the magazine to where when you snap it in, you actually have a full grip, not just a magazine sticking out. It would give you better control over the gun. But even if they don't make those little changes right now, I look at it and I think that has potential. That actually feel, fills a niche. Uh, there are a lot of people that would like it. So the reason it didn't make my top five worst things I saw at SHOT Show is because I think it's actually a good product and I actually think it could lead to even better things in the future.